This video is going to discuss Site Survey 3 and how to use it. You can get to it through our SiteLogic's website. Go into the Support tab, Design Center, click on Site Survey, and then the Login tab. It will take you to the login page for Site Survey. Type in your username and password. And we can start a new design, create a project by clicking at the top on the plus sign and then typing in our address and I'll type in the airport and then hit enter. Airports give us a lot of room to work with. So to start a design we first want to go up into the upper right hand corner put the mouse over the camera icon and left click and then left click again on the three lines that will bring the menu down which has all the options which will allow us to fine tune our camera placement. So when we decide where we want our first camera, we'll place mouse over that location and then use the right mouse button. We'll right click on that. The bouncing camera shows that that's an active camera that we are designing. Go over and left click on Orient. You'll see the field of view and we can move that wherever we need to. And you'll see it also will only allow us to use the maximum range we can't go beyond that so once we decide where we want the field of view we can left click that'll set it in place and then we can fine tune the placement by we can give it a name if we want to name our cameras that's an option it's not required if we want to move the field of view clockwise or counterclockwise we can increase the tilt it goes clockwise decrease goes counterclockwise the mounting height is defaulted to 7 meters. The fence height is defaulted at 3 meters. If we want to adjust the mounting height, we can easily do so. When, you, when we do that, you'll see that this red section down here is the blind spot underneath every camera where we cannot detect anything. So uh, that is also adjusted with the mounting height or the fence height. So if we want to place a new camera, we put our mouse and use the right mouse button, right click. And let's say we want to, we've been using our 320 by 240 camera, we want a wider field of vision, so let's change that to a 640 by 480. You'll see it turns from red to blue. Left click on Orient and we get our field of view. When we decide where we want it, we can left click and then we'll place another camera right clicking let's change back to the 320 and that places the field of view where we want it and now we can actually move this anywhere we want by putting the left mouse button over the camera and that's important because we want to make sure that the blind spot is covered by the field of view of another camera so always make sure you save your work so that it recognizes all the work that you've done. And at that point, you can go see what cameras you've selected by going up to the printer icon and left clicking on that. Click on cameras. It'll show each camera, the model number, all the specific information for each camera. We can also get a group of materials of what we needed, including each product and camera. Uh, and the quantity that we've selected. And then if you want to save that or send that to anyone, we can download a PDF of that information, which will also include a picture of the site survey. Now at any point in time, you can go up here to the help button, to the question mark, and it'll discuss and go over everything we've talked about today. And also, please feel free to call the support center at SiteLogics if you want to discuss any specifics about a design that you're creating or if you have any questions about any of the features on Site Survey 3.